Ray Cassidy, Consulting Cumbria Limited. Creating a Google Plus business page for a business which is fairly local. A little sideline in outdoor instruction. To do this we go to the home menu at the left, slide down to pages, click on pages. This is the page I already have for Consulting Cumbria, the main business and now I'm going to create a second page for a second business. It is a local business or place, it's a defined area where, I'll, where I'm prepared to do business. Okay, so we agree to the terms and conditions. If I can get the tick to stay in the box, continue. Cassidy Outdoors, and it won't find it because there's nothing on the web about it at all. So it lists a, potential, a few potentials, and despite the Irish name, nearly all the Cassidy's are over in America but none of these are related to me. So these are not my businesses. Business name, Cassidy Outdoors. We're in the UK. Street address, one church place, except I can't spell the number one. Uh, cities Carlisle, Cumbria. I'll pause the uh, video while we fill in all the details. Okay, so that's the basic details filled in. Basic address, town or city as they like to call it, the county's Cumbria and the postcode and always important if you're going for a, a sort of a locality then you need a local phone number. Categories are very important and they've become more restrictive in the past year so while I hunt out the category for my business I'll pause the video again. One church place. Ah. Oops, you must make sure that the Postcode matches the street and town, or Google will reject your listing out of hand. That can waste another two to four weeks of your time. The primary category that we found for our outdoor activity business, which is basically freelance instruction, is an outdoor activity organiser. I may find categories later uh, that are better matched, but this will do for now. <coughs> a little um, thing to bear in mind, categories should describe what your business is, not what it does or what it sells. So, you know, what you are, not what you do or what you sell. So I'll save that category for now. Uh, we can add other categories as well, which I will do at a later point. The business hours is the next thing to alter. And basically this uh, goes on seven o'clock in the morning basically until ten at night when this kind of stuff's going on and frequently it's overnight because it involves uh, camping with groups. Save that and then the next thing is to add a short business description as well. To add the description click in the box it's usually worth working up your description before you actually get onto the Google Plus business page editing suite and include the most important keyword. For instance, obviously my name, something I want to be found for, and I need to change that to an outdoor activity instructor, which is one of the keywords that people do search for according to Google itself. Bold that. It's just like a mini word processor, this um, editing box. You can underline, you can bold, you can also bullet list items. And I also want to link that to my own personal blog. So we'll link that. So usually I grab the URL straight from the open page. Control C from the address bar, I can get rid of that now. And the edit link box here. Personal blog is the text that it was that was highlighted, so it's been added in there. You don't need to alter that. I pop that URL into there. You'll notice that the copy has already automatically grabbed all the HTTP nonsense that is needed. Um, you can test this link just to make sure it works and Firefox being cautious. So that's popped through and I'm happy with that. And there we have a link straight through now to the blog. They're the very basics of creating your listing for a service area business when there's, there's nothing there for it at all previously.